Hey, my powerful Scorpios. Welcome to Scorpio Intuition. So, family, let's get into this energy. See what spirit has for us today. Messages of clarity and truth, most high. What is it that our Scorpios have coming towards them? Okay, right now, I do see the five of pentacles. Scorpios, there's the energy of feeling left out in the cold. I feel like um, there's a lot of changes that are happening. And I feel like in certain situations, there could have been a time where um, it was like maybe, maybe people felt or maybe you felt like certain people didn't want you to fit into a particular place and group. I feel like this is, somebody made you feel like this in the past where it felt like you were lacking, felt like there was something that um, people wanted you to feel like you couldn't accomplish something or you wasn't worthy. And I feel like Spirit is saying that through that time, you were very strong in the past uh, and moving forward, knowing that you were enough. And now something has taken place where it, it, it it has you holding back. I'm getting a lot of holding back energy. You're holding back from everything, every situation in the past that made you feel shunned off, that made you feel like you were not good enough, or any situation that um, like left you out in the cold. And I feel like that is another reason, Scorpio, while at this point in time, you could be very distant, not wanting to let people in I feel like right now, it's like you've been doing so many things by yourself. Yeah, you've been doing so many things by yourself. And now you're at a point to where you are uh, the nine of pentacles. You are abundant. You are self-sufficient. You depend on no one but yourself. And this strength here, um, it, it's like in your in your aura when you walk, when you speak, it shows the strength that you have to go through. It shows uh, that you've overcome many difficult uh, obstacles. And now I feel like you're in this energy of holding back from those individuals that at one point in time made you feel like you were not worthy of them, certain uh, certain things in life. And now that you have acquired them, I feel like those same individuals that made you feel left out in a cold are trying to return and you are really not hearing it. I get a lot of uh, energy from people that you used to love in the past. I'm getting a lot of family members as well that you're holding back from moving forward as you're coming into the success. Yeah, see, we have the Six of Cups here. The Six of Cups speaks of um, speaks of people in the past. I feel like people who who left you out in the past, who who kind of discarded you, they're thinking about you really hard. And they're wanting to come in because now the same energy in which they gave you made you feel like you were not worthy or just really constantly spoke down on on your name or or they were envious of something that you were doing. So they would try to highlight anything they felt could have could discredit you or make you feel less than I feel like these individuals are trying to come emerge back into your life family. And the tower moment is hitting. This reminds me of uh, the Virgos reading I just did. Uh, if you guys have placement in Virgo, go to the Virgo Intuitions channel. Um, there's a tower moment, and the tower moment is for those who who did you wrong. I feel like, I don't know why, family, but there is a lot of family issues that I see here and the issue it I feel like the issue is not even so much with you with your family your family a lot of your family is having issues with you because you are refusing to allow them in at a time in your life where you are breaking through every generational curse every barrier financial and and uh, spiritual barriers and now you have so many people watching you seeing what you're doing next but everything you're doing is brand new and now they want to come in 
they want to come and heal the situation with you because you are becoming a star, but you're not wanting to heal situations with people in the past. I feel like this is the, the star, the reverse came. I mean, the star in reverse, came, I mean, the star in reverse. I would say the star in reverse came in backwards, but <laughs> the star in reverse means that you're holding back. You don't want to heal situations with people in the past. You don't want to heal situations with certain family members. You feel like, I feel like you don't hold anything against them. It's just that coming into your new uh, abundant energy, you don't want them around. And I feel like this is becoming a tower moment because it's like you've become so strong that you're kind of like immune to the emotional part that that, that used to uh, hold you or bound you to particular people and things. You've ended situation now, Scorpio. We came out twice in our reading with the tower and with the death card. I feel like your stability is the end of some relationships that you had in the past with family, with old friends, with situations you used to take back. I feel like you said anything that was dealing in the past, now that you're starting your new, you're not taking anyone with you. And I feel like this is a time that you have so many people reaching out to you, wanting to be a part of what you have going. These are the same people that could have talked down on you, could have said some things that you know. Like, you know how when people are angry, they really say what's on their heart. And I feel like some of the things that were said to you, Scorpio, by the people that you love the most, I feel like it, it it went so deep to where it was like, I would never, ever say or do anything like that towards you. So for you to do that, it's like, I can't trust you. And now that time has passed by, I feel like you have some family, some, some, some people, situations where they just want you to forget, hoping that time uh like in time like you forgot about what was said or you forgot about what was done and now they feel like because so much time has passed by that you should give them another opportunity in your life but the truth is Scorpio we'll forgive you but we never forget and even though we forgive you we won't trust you with that part of our hearts anymore and I feel like you are distant because you know that what these people are coming in for it's like you don't even want to see it. You're looking at the end like, you know what? This end is the end. Like what was in the past, is, is I'm not even paying attention to it no more, you know? And people are wanting to come and reconnect with you. People are wanting to link up with you. And it's like at this time, you like, I just don't right now. I feel like where you're going, you don't feel it's necessary for you to link up with certain people anymore. Yeah, you said it's not necessary. Yeah, you are you are self sufficient, and in your self sufficiency, I feel like you have there's people around that want to depend on you because you were consistent. But in all of that, they are getting this tower moment. The tower moment is that you don't want to deal with anybody of your past that made you feel left out or hurt. And and, and you, you're you in this energy of why would I let you back in when I'm acquiring everything? If I couldn't trust you when I didn't have anything, see what the nine of pentacles keep popping up? Why would I trust you now? People are wanting to reach out to you. People are wanting to see if you're going to allow them back into your life. Some people are going to, uh, I feel like you have some family members that are going to come in and just be like, man, we family, we should be able to get through this. It's not about getting through it. It's about not, it's not about getting through it. I feel like you are already through the situation. It's about not repeating a situation. And where you are, Scorpio, it's like I have too much on the line to even bring situations of people in my life that I know don't fuck with me, that I know is envious of me, that I know that's not going to put in the work to continue to grow. So it's like, why would I bring people in back in my life that I know that's not going to want to grow? And if I'm continually growing and you already have that hatred spirit in your heart, what make you think you're not going to hate me now? Why are you coming back in, spirit? Yeah. They coming back in because they want you to give to them. They see you are you are receiving the Ace of Pentacles. 
You are the nine of pentacles. And right now with you being so self-sufficient and, and, and so much abundance coming in, now it's like the people who made you feel left out, now they want you want to come back in so that you can give to them. And this is what you don't trust. That's the reason why, Scorpios, you are ignoring a lot of people that's trying to reach out. You are ignoring a lot of people that's trying to come to calmer waters with you. It's not that the waters are calm. It's just that you can't ride with me in my boat. Tis, tis. All right, Scorpios, that's all I got for you. I love you, family. Love yourself. <laughs>